All right, thank you, Alden. Well, here's a fun fact for you. Did you know Nebraska's unicameral has the highest percentage of millennial lawmakers in the country? Eight of Nebraska's 49 senators were born between 1980 and 2000. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Brent Von Fleur spoke with some of them today. You might not think a state with one of the oldest populations would have one of the youngest governments, but think again. About 16% of Nebraska state lawmakers are millennials, the highest in the country. As one of them, Lincoln Senator Anna Wishart says that's a good thing, but it comes with responsibility. We bring the perspective of um, a younger generation and the, the realization that the decisions we're making for people, people who are younger than me are going to affect their lives um, for a long time. A Democrat, Wishart says she's noticed more cooperation across the aisle between millennials, something Republican Brett Lindstrom echoes. Uh, the R&D hardline, I, I see more of uh, uh, nonpartisan streaks in people. And I, I get that sense from a lot of the younger senators down here that sometimes we work with each other on a lot of common sense issues that affect the vast majority of the population versus saying, I can't support that because I'm a Republican or I can't support that because I'm a Democrat. Wishart says one example of their cooperation is a measure she co-sponsored with Senator Tyson Larson, a Republican who is also a millennial. Democrat Tony Vargas says millennial senators bring new perspectives to the legislature working on laws geared towards keeping the state's young talent at home. And I've heard that from all over uh, my district, at least people are seeing when you see a, a one somebody that resembles one part of who you are, uh, it's more likely you can see yourself in that position. And while they still have their differences, all three senators agreed that the number of iPhones in the legislature is at an all time high. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> the uh, Blackberry no longer exists. <laughs> and I will tell you, there's some more tech savvy of our older senators than some of our younger senators, and that's, that is a fact. Reporting in Lincoln, Brent Fleur, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.